Hello, it's uh, Ilona Pitt and Zach Bert with Made Midlands Weekly Roundup. Um, best news of the week for you uh, that we bring to you every Friday. So, Zach, over to you. Uh, yeah, um, the latest Made in the Midlands breakfast event was hosted in rugby at AW Precision. Uh, AW Precision welcomed over 50 guests to their premises, and we have a great quote here from their business development manager, Andy Whitworth, who said after the event, these events are absolutely key. People's time is precious, as I find in the business development role. It's nice to get people out of their factories and offices to a bit of a neutral environment to discuss things. Um, I think it's been really good and very worthwhile. It's nothing like a coffee morning. It's just a fantastic networking event. Uh, so if you want to attend our next breakfast event, that will be taking place on the 9th of March at Taurus Technology Group in Telford, uh, West Midlands. So we look forward to seeing you all there. Um, Moving on to some more member news now. Um, congratulations to Taylor's Transport, uh, Rebecca Taylor, for passing her category C plus E driving test after just a couple of months. Uh, Taylor's also featured on BBC One uh, Inside Out programme on Monday evening. Uh, their drivers were filmed uh, giving viewers a full overview of a typical day in the life of a HGV driver and the challenges within the logistics industry. It's a great feature there. Uh, you should check it out. Uh, the links will be on their uh, mic site. Uh, also, Summers Forge uh, posted some great news about being founded over 150 years ago. Uh, Summers Forge have a great reputation built for their excellence in forging and engineering, and their MD, Tammy Inglis, uh, believes that their diversification has been the key, and the continued support and investment from the Folks family who founded Summers Forge uh, has been key uh, to their growth over 150 years. Also, they were on BBC as well um, for a children's education programme, Absolute Genius. Uh, they're now aiming to promote uh, heavy engineering to the younger generation and are now taking on apprentices uh, and investing in the further and higher education of their employees. And finally, with the member news, uh, Made in the Midlands patron, Jonathan Lee Recruitment, are launching a dedicated transport division of 30 specialist consultants led by uh, the managing consultant, Mark Bignall. That's great. Thank you very much, Zach. I have seen the um, the feature on Taylor's Transport. Very nice. I think about 10 minutes long piece. So yeah. well done, guys. Uh, from me, uh, our uh, magazine is now ready. Uh, it has, has been printed. We got all these nice, fresh, crisp copies this morning. So they will be in post. Uh, for you or we also everyone who's been featured we will send those copies directly to you from our office um and yes on the as you know on the 25th of may there is a big uh, exhibition that we've got at rica arena with over 200 exhibitors and 2000 guests expected we'll be sending our um, exhibitor packs next week they're nearly ready so uh, look out in post and your emails uh, we also have been issuing the capability survey and we will we'll have been sending it to our members via email. So please um, make sure that you complete it because it will go into our annual buyer's guide. So it's very important that we got up to date information from you. Um, so, and also, um, I would like to welcome new Made in the Midlands members. This week we had Liberty Group joining, Sentinel Manufacturing, Dar Aerospace. Optical Flooring, Tritech 3D and Meet Fab Development. So welcome, warm welcome from all of us here at Made in the Midlands. Look out for, for your um, new member packs in post next week. Um, and you can now search all these companies on our directory where, where their microsi microsites are now live. So that's everything from us this week. Everything else yeah. from you, Zach? Uh, no, that's everything from me. Yeah, so yeah. great week on Made in the Midlands Front. Great event, lots of new members. We'll see you again next week. Yes. Thank you, Zach. No problem, thank you. Have a great weekend.